Hello, hello, welcome back to another video. This is going to be a short and sweet video featuring five tips on how to step up your studying game in the most low effort ways. So let's get started. Now this little trick I picked up from TikTok, sometimes even with the Pomodoro timer, it can be hard to just not go on your phone, especially when you're reaching a period in your study session when you're just completely bored out of your mind. So what you can do is take your phone, set it on the time lapse feature, and record yourself studying. That way you can't grab for it halfway through. I personally love watching the footage afterwards and using it as a source of motivation for in the future to just get my shit together. Having 10 different planners for 10 different purposes can be tricky and hard to keep track of. It can cause clutter and we're all guilty of having clutter on our physical and digital spaces, which is why organizing all of your links and resources can be one of the most helpful things to do for yourself. This brings me to one of my favorite digital organizers. Thank you so much to Identity for sponsoring this video. They are an online space that you can use to organize all of your most used links, sites, make notes, and also to sync up your Google Calendar and account passwords. It's completely free to sign up and use. I've been using it for the past couple of months and it's been such a seamless way to combine my school and turn in personal links all together in one place in the most organized manner. Here's a to-do list that I created which is just school related and then alongside that I have all my other to-do lists which are all separated because I don't want to mix everything up. Another feature that I love about identity is the ability to spruce up your notes with the due dates, adding the tiles right next to the task and overall allowing for a simple to-do list to be 10 times more helpful with all the additional add-ons. I have a whole bunch of different categories that I use on daily basis. If you guys are interested in starting up your own identity dashboard, make sure to click on the link in my description box to get started. Over time, I've realized how much the timing of my routine and when I schedule things really matter. For me, tasks that require a lot of brain power, I'll reserve it for in the morning because I know those are my peak performance hours. Knowing your peak hours can be really beneficial to understanding when you should study. You'll be able to retain information better and not just waste three hours late at night absorbing absolutely nothing. School can get hectic and juggling multiple classes can be hard, which is why it can be easy for your to-do lists to become overwhelming, but realistically, you'll probably only be able to finish a couple things at a time. Cap your list with the top three most important tasks. Anything more than that can be marked as things that can be done, but it won't be a big deal if you don't get to it. I find that my days become so much more manageable and overall less stressful with this approach. For example, I have a CS midterm coming up and just thinking about everything that I have to do is just crazy. And sometimes when you think about the overall tasks rather than all the little parts of it, it can be discouraging to some people and you tend to put it off because you're intimidated, but it doesn't have to be that way. What we can do instead is break that down into smaller tasks. For example, here is my schedule. And that's it for all of the low effort tips that I have to share for this video. If you have any additional tips that you would like to share, please feel free to leave them down in the comments. I love reading all of the tips and advice that you guys have to offer. So until then, I'll see you next time. Bye.